Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Um, as you can see, I'm actually in Walmart going to the Materia shop. And that's because... Um, I need to buy some Materia. Talk to me, dude. So I actually um, completed this part. And this is a re-recording. And the reason is... Um, you saw I bought two Lightning Materia there. Uh, lightning Materia makes this part of the game very, very easy. Um, there's only one enemy that we're going to have to worry about not using Lightning Materia coming up. So I want everyone to have the uh, Lightning Magic. So, I would recommend, um, you can see, I still have over 3,000 gil. We're going to be stealing a bunch of items that we need um, in the upcoming part. So I would recommend getting the Lightning Materia. Like I said, it's going to be very helpful uh, in the upcoming boss battles. So without further ado, let's get back to climbing up the golden shiny wire of hope. And like I said uh, in my first recording of this, I don't have a fast forward mod. So you're just going to have to deal with um, some dead parts of dialogue. But you can listen to the excellent music. And we're going to meet some kids, and this is as far as they got. Yep, looking at the remains of Sector 7, it seems. Okay. So we climb up here. And do you hear that noise? That kind of uh, squelch noise? Um, that's going to be important later, and that's something I didn't know until a little while ago. So just keep that in mind. So you want to run the path that I ran, and you want to put a battery in here. There we go. Um, unfortunately, this is one of those parts of the game where it's 2D, so it's kind of difficult to tell what's exactly on top of what. And um, sometimes that can get you into trouble just trying to figure out where the hell you have to go. So now we put the battery in, so now we gotta wait for the propeller to start up. I don't know exactly why there's a propeller there, because I don't think there was a plane crash that I missed, but whatever. And then it'll eventually... 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 Come on, you can stop. Okay. So we hop up there, and we just hop over to here. And climb up and put our second battery in. And then we just run up across and go up this wire. And you see that um, thing that's swinging back and forth? That's what's making the noise. And so what you have to do is you have to jump onto the bar. Um, I've played this game on mute plenty of times. And I'm actually going to go up here first because I want to get an other for the last battery. Um, I've played this game on mute plenty of times, and sometimes I've had to do that stupid jump thing uh, probably ten times. Because as I go back down, you're gonna see if you fall, if you miss time the jump, you fall back down and you have to go up a distance again. So what you want to do is you want to hit the OK button when you hear the noise. So let's see if we can do it on the first shot. If I hit the right button, it would probably help. Okay. There we go. And there we are. So you want to wait for that noise, and then you want to hit the button. And you will be able to do that on the first attempt. So, if you'd like to play the game with, like, the original game's sound muted, this might be a good time to actually say, you know what, let's take a listen. And you want to climb up here. Like I said, this is another spot where it's 2D, so you have to hit the wires exactly right. Okay. And we are up top. The framing of that with the Shinra music in the background is just really awesome. Highlights the evilness of the corporation.
Don't even say anything. Just nod and it's time to go. Okay. So you're gonna run up to the entrance and you have a choice to make here. After Cloud says he doesn't really know the building. Um, what you wanna do is make a choice. Do you wanna go in guns blazing in the front or do you wanna go in through the stairwell? Yep, it's hard to get above the 60th floor. We have ways around that. Um, personally, I like to go the stairwell just because of the responses you get from Barrett and Tefa are funny. Um, if you go in through the front, you can um, get, you'll be in some random encounters until they finally let you up to the 59th floor. Uh, if you take the stairs, you just wind up in the 59th floor. No random battles. There is one thing in the front that you want to take care of, and that is the Turtles Paradise Flyer number two. But we can still access that even if we sneak in quickly. So I'm just going to save my game real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So we're going to run over to the side here, and we're going to find a secret entrance. Yep, we're going to take the stairs. Like I said, there's no random encounters on the stairs. Uh, you're going to have to go up a lot of stairs, but Barrett and Tifa's responses, I feel, are worth it. Yes, we are, Barrett. Like I said, I mean... It's just a few fights that you have to get into if you go in the front. I just, I like the responses better. So you just gotta run up the stairs. Uh, eventually you will come across an ether, or an ether. You want a beer? How about some ether? Um, and that's your only, uh, your only reward for this part. So you go up the first flight. Barrett and Tifa will always uh, start out ahead of you running up the stairwell, but they'll also tire out, and you'll never tire out. <laughs> Barrett's already out of breath, and we just started. Yeah, we maybe, maybe don't want to let the whole Shinra army know that we're here. I don't know what Barrett's laughing about. So, that's the second stairwell. I think we wind up running up six. I'm not 100% sure. We'll keep count this time. Oh, you're going to learn a lot more about Cloud. Yep, there you are. Suck air, take your first breath. I told you to do your cardio. And, of course, we had to start the day off with a, a pull exercise, climbing up the wire. So, we got a good back exercise in, and now we're going to get a good cardio and some legs in. Okay, that's the third stairwell. Or third set of stairs, I guess I should say, because it's one stairwell. Forever, Barrett. Tiffa being a smartass. Uh, well, Barrett, you saw how tall the building was. Stairs, pretty much, I think, for building code have to go all the way up. Yep, take your second break there, Barrett. I'm sure Tiffa will be taking hers very soon. So it's funny how far Tifa and Barrett are behind Cloud, and then we decide to stop and let him catch up. And Barrett's gonna regress to being a little kid. Yep, are we there yet? No. Yep, take another break. <laughs> Tifa losing her patience with Barrett this entire time. And there is the other, either. Or elixir, I'm sorry, it's an elixir. And this is the fourth fourth set of stairs. And on to the fifth. And for some reason, this one, they're always... They're already at the top. <laughs> it's going to be further to go back down than it would be to keep going up. 
Come on. Here we go. And I guess I should take this time to let you know that uh, we're going to be getting new armor for everyone, for all three characters. And we're going to be getting a new weapon for Cloud. Really soon. Maybe not in this episode. I'm not sure yet. I don't think in this episode. Probably in the next. Yep. Keep going. Look, guys, we're here to save Eris. Now, I have no idea if that means Tifa has to go to the bathroom. I have no idea what this is. I think she has to. I think she has to go to the bathroom. I honestly think that's what this part is. Anyway, on to the sixth set of stairs. I don't know, dude. You know, I mean, I'm assuming their stairs and the doors and whatnot do have signs saying, you know, floor one, floor two, or, you know, ground two, three, four. Yes, they're no darn good, because they're the ones that made you go up the stairs. I mean, they did kidnap Eris, which caused this, but it was my decision to run up the stairs, because you need to get some cardio, Barrett. Okay. So I think this is set number seven. Let's see here. I think this is... <laughs> Barrett talking about how he's gonna die. I think this is the last uh, set. And it's funny, they were able, able to use retard in uh, 1997. Don't know if you could use that word if you made a video game in uh, 2015. Just not sure about that. No, at least one more set to go. Trust me, viewers. We're almost there. At least you just have to sit back and relax. I, on the other hand, have to keep uh, holding on the run button and twirling my hand around the uh, directional pad. Because for some reason, I like to use the directional pad with Final Fantasy VII. And here we are at the top. Yay. <laughs> I don't know if we really go down that many stairs uh, for the rest of the game. Yep, I'm ready. Let's go. And we are on the 59th floor. Yep, Shinra building. 59th floor. Okay. So first things first, you want to walk over to these guys. Say what's up. And building limit breaks would not be the worst thing in the world. But first things first, we're going to go to Cloud. And we're going to hit everyone with Bolt. And then... We're going to use Bolt on them individually. And because I'm re-recording and started this again, I'm pretty sure that uh, Barrett does not have his level 1.2 limit break. So that's why he has the cover materia. Okay, hopefully one hit should do it. Yeah, so you just want to constantly just hit these guys with Bolt over and over. If you do have a couple people with Bolt All, it's good. Uh, I like to have Restore All, so. It's your choice, which, which you want. And you just gotta hit these guys with Bolt, and you'll be all set. And the last Bolt should take care of this guy. Oh, no, we gotta let him get a hit in. Or something. Of course it figures, like, I'm, I need Barrett's 1.2 limit break. He has cover. And they hit Tifa and Cloud, and Barrett didn't cover. Oh well, we'll get his limit break eventually. Tranquilizer. That might come in handy in an upcoming battle. What you want to do is you want to inspect something on the ground. And there's the key card uh, for Floor 60. Now before moving on, because of the Turtles Paradise side quest, what you want to do is you want to head over to the elevator. Yep. <laughs> they tell him to stop messing around. Too bad. We're getting in the elevator. And we will take this down to, um, I think, the first floor. Now it's funny, 
because if you decide to bust in the building, um, I think it's been a long time since I've done it that way, but I think what happens is you come in the elevator and it stops at random floors where you get into random battles. So, Sia Eris, we actually decided we don't want to save you. Nope, we just wanted to check out. Check it out. Turtles Paradise Newsletter number two. Oh, we will. Don't worry. We will get there very soon. Oh, maybe not very soon, but before the game's over. And we're just going to take the elevator back up now. And the reason I did that now is because um, once we're done here in the Shinra headquarters, it sets off a series of events, and we don't return to Midgar for a long, long time. If you're playing this uh, on the PlayStation version, with the actual discs as opposed to the Steam version, it's not till disc 3 that we get back to Midgar. So, now that we've done that, what we want to do is we want to take this elevator up to the 60th floor. So now, I guess we could technically leave if there's something we had to do. Um, I've done everything that I need to do in uh, the slums for now. You guys have anything to say? And there's a couple things that we're going to do to help influence events later in the game. And you gotta love the security guard sleeping there on the job. Even though he's got that bright red light flashing, let him know there's intruders in the elevator on the 60th floor. And now the, um, the reason we had to get the key card for 60 is every floor above this, we won't be able to access unless we get the key card. So what you want to do on the 60th floor, we're just going to walk over here. And you see the guards up there in the top right corner that move. Yep, all those guards running around. So what, Cl what Cloud has to do is Cloud has to avoid being seen by the guards. And the way you avoid being seen by the guards is not that. So this is what happens uh, when you don't avoid the guards. Yep, remember these guys? You just gotta take care of them again. So I'll do that quickly and then I will be back. So yeah, you want to wait for them to move before you move. So, um, if I manage to screw this up again, I'll just keep editing it out until um, I get it. So you want to wait for the guards to move, and then you move. And then when you get halfway over, you have to signal um, to Barrett and Tifa. So basically all you want to do is press your X button when they start to move. Okay, so Barrett's across. Now we got to signal Tifa. And then once we get everyone halfway, then we'll have to um, move through those second set of guards. And you do have a little bit of a time reaction. And you can see um, the guards that we have to get through now move much different. They move faster. But if you actually watch their movements, it's actually very easy. So we'll just watch their movements for a minute. So they run over like that, in pairs, and then they go backwards, and then they swap, and then they go backwards. And once you get to this one, then you just have to wait them out. That's the only hard part, is moving um, to that second statue. So we got to the first, and now we have the one hard one. So you just want to wait as soon as they start to move. And you see there, Barrett has a little bit of, uh, you have a little bit of give. Okay, so come on over, Tifa. Gotta wait for them to run once, and now when they start to move... Okay. So we made it through. Only got caught once. I always get caught once. And we don't get a key card for the 61st floor. Um, I think it's 65 and above. You need a key card for all floors. So we want to talk to this person because they got something funny to say. Oh. What are you going to teach me? 
Yep, okay, you're gonna teach us how to get to the next floor. Yep, 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 yep. I know, I know, you can shut up. Yeah, I know. You can shut up. I know how to get to the next floor. Oh my god, shut up. Okay, so we want to talk to this guy who's walking around. What's up, dude? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we are. Yep, that's us, the Shinra Repair Division. Okay, yeah, we'll, f we'll fix that right now. Okay, nothing else we need to do here. Just go up to the 62nd floor. And this is actually... Oh, no, I don't want to go down. I want to go back up. This is actually a nice floor. Um, no enemies. Uh, there's a puzzle that you have to solve. So what you have here is you have libraries. So that's the Scientific Research Library. That's the Urban Development Library. This is the... Peace Preservation slash Weapons Library. Interesting. And this is a Space uh, Research Library. So let's talk to this guy. Yeah, I don't have any questions. So let's talk to the mayor. The Midgar Mayor. He's probably a Shinra man himself. Let's take care of him. Oh. He's more of a Shinra pawn. A glorified librarian. So basically, he has a password. And he'll give us a key card. And we want to get it on the first try because um, we'll get a very good materia to use. And the way you guess his password is in each library there's a, um, a volume that belongs in a different library. And when we get that, I'll show you what we do um, to get the password. So it's a space development research library. So we want to go in here. There's two books uh, per uh, bookshelf. So diminishing Mako energy and planetary movements. Maybe, probably not. Okay, definitely not. Definitely not. Okay, so breakdown of soldier members by class. This has nothing to do with the space division. So you see in the upper left corner, the number one, what that means is the first letter of um, the title. So that's going to be a B. So the first so we know the letter B is in his password. So let's see. Just double check in. Yep. Okay. So um, it changes every game. Uh, when I did this video originally, his password was King. Obviously, it's not going to be King now. So let's see. Peace Preservation slash Weapons Development Research Library. So let's check out these books. Weapons? Nope. Military use? I'm pretty sure that's not it. Weaponry? Peacekeeping law? Okay. Okay. So this is, um, this belongs in the space library. So now we got 16 to count over. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I gotta start over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's an M because you want to count the um, count the letters over. 16 letters over is the M in Midgar, and you don't want to um, count the spaces. So I'm pretty sure the password is bomb. But first of all, let's just double check our work because I want that uh, special gift. Okay, Urban Development Research Library. So let's take a look here. I think that qualifies. Okay, let's see here. Okay, biological characteristics of the ancients does not belong here. And you can see we have a 1 again and a B. So that's definitely, uh, bomb is definitely his password. But just for, uh, just so you guys can see. So this is a scientific research library. I think this is the book, Doctor. Nope, but that's not it. That's not it. Hmm, that's not... I don't know if that's it or not. Let's see what else there is. That's... The, he's a biologist. Okay, I'm pretty sure that... Hmm, let's see here. 
Okay, reactor construction chart. So you want six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's an O. So the password is bomb. Like I said, it changes every game. For instance, I just I loaded a save file. Uh, this is the same save file that I played earlier, and the password was king. So I don't know. I think it waits till you actually enter the Shinra um, building before they determine what the password is. So that's so. There's three that have B. So that's why I didn't know at first. But his password is bomb. <laughs> And he, def he has something to say uh, every time he uses a different password. And we get a key card all the way to the 65th floor. Um, I've had King a bunch. I've had Bomb, and I've had Hojo. I've never had Orbs. I've never had Best. I've never had... I think I may have had Mako. And he gave, gave us an Elemental Materia because he hates the Shinra. And the Elemental Materia is a really good uh, Materia to have. So just let me show it to you real quick. I don't know if I'm actually going to equip it yet. Okay. So lightning all. Okay, so what if I do... There's Barret. Barret has ice. Right? Okay. Now if I got my keys right, it would help. Okay. So you want to put your lightning up here. Or store there. Um... He still has cover. I'm gonna put the ice here. And I'll just equip the elemental to cloud just so it gets some uh, some growth. Now basically what elemental does is it allows you, um, if you put elemental into your weapon, you can use it to attack. If you put, so actually here I'll do this with, uh, okay, yeah, we'll, do, we'll actually do it like this. So Tifa will have elemental lightning. And Cloud will get the sense materia. So what that will do is it'll allow Tifa to include some lightning power in her attack. If you put it in their armor, it'll um, decrease the damage done. Eventually it'll stop all damage done. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if it's AP Master or a different level, it'll actually uh, absorb the damage done. And so now what we can do is we have key card 65. We can go all the way to the 65th floor. But why stop there when we can get some more cool swag? So 63rd floor, a little bit of a puzzle here. Let's talk to the computer. It reads our key card. Come on. We're only a level B employee and we can only open three doors. Hmm. Warning, do not enter the air conditioning ducts. They're very dangerous. Well, guess what? We're going to go in some air conditioning ducts. Um, so it's a little bit of a puzzle. You can only open three doors, and that's to get three um, items. So the first one that you want to open is this door. Yep. And now i got to think. The next one you want to open is this door. So there's two, so we can only open one more door. So what you want to do is you want to go in here and get the A coupon. And remember how they said not to go in the air conditioning duct? Let's climb in and take a look. Like I said, I don't have the fast forward um, option. So once again, just another brief overview of uh, Elemental. You can put it in your weapon, and then if you have it in a weapon with a slot for that... Um, for an uh, elemental materia. Come on, turn up, turn up. No, nope, turn up. There we go. Um, you will add some, like for instance, lightning. You will add some lightning to your attack. Now that can be good and bad because if you have an enemy that absorbs lightning, well, then we're going to be healing them. Um, I will put it in people's defense for the most part. But um, we'll be jumbling around our materia much, much later. So we climb through the air conditioning duct. We got the B coupon and now we got the C coupon and that was the third door that we opened so if you try to open a door it'll say you've opened three doors and yeah if you uh, if you screw up you can always go to the computer and um, what you can do is you can reset all the doors and you can get three doors to open again 
However, you will lose the items, so that's the one way to get the items. So we climb down. And we're going to do a coupon change. So we get a star pendant, which is awesome because that allows um, resistance to poison. The four slots uh, materia, you know, it lets you junction four things into your um, junction. Let's p lets you put four materias on your armor. The problem is um, all the slots are single slots. And an all materia We'll get plenty of all materia, but one right now doesn't hurt. So just to show you, um, we have the mithril armlet. The four slots actually is weaker on defense, and you can see it's four. Um, why did I do that? It's it's four slots, but they're non um, non linked. So what you want to do is we want to hold on. Now we don't need to worry about that all materia yet. Uh, pretty soon, all of our characters will have. Um, a better, a better piece of armor, and we don't have to worry about um, any major fights until we get that armor. So we want to run up here, and this is the gym, I guess, of the Shinra employees. So what you want to do is you want to run in here, and let's see if the vending machine has anything cool. Yeah, sure, why not? 250 gil, we get. We'll be fighting plenty of random battles soon enough, and it screws us over. Hey. Give me the drink, fucker. Okay, so we're gonna bang on it. And we're gonna get yelled at. Really? No violence here in, Sh in Shinra's 64th floor, really? Okay. So we have to do that to get something later in the game that we need. And while we're here, we're just gonna raid um, the locker room. Get a couple items. Um, there's only one Per row. And then up here. Huh, a megaphone, huh? Yep, hanging on to that won't do any good. Yeah, you know, there's a megaphone there. That's gonna be the ultimate weapon of one of our characters later in the game. But of course, because we currently don't have a character who uses a megaphone, we won't take it. So we're gonna get some rest to heal up our characters. Yeah, let's see if this guy has anything interesting to say. Okay, we'll let you get some rest. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it for uh, today. The next episode, we will finish uh, the Shinra headquarters. We'll find Eris, and we'll take the game where it goes from there. So I will see you guys then.